I'm Seth Oliver and I'm from Fizzy Events. I'm the creative director. The children have been brilliant. They've engaged wholeheartedly. We're making lanterns for the procession, the parade that's going to happen on the 5th of March. My name is Sally Couch. I'm the deputy head here at St. Willis Primary School. I think Chartism is really important in the history of Newport. Our school is actually on the route of the original Chartist March, so it's something that's really very special to us. I think they've been really enthusiastic, they've loved the activities, they helped each other with the lantern making and they all managed to make one which is fantastic. I do think that the emphasis on the Chartist March in schools is helping so that future generations will know more about it. It was a struggle for civil rights. It was a struggle to, to, to get ordinary people to be able to vote. It was just men at the time, I know. Women came about a hundred years after that, but um, that was an advance. And we're grateful to have the, um, that sort of legacy. Boots and rain drummed the tram roads that bitter night in 1839 pottled and stumbled with mud and stones. Five thousand men, workers in iron and coal, from mine and furnace, Sirhawi, Ebu, Fremni, heads bowed against a storm like mountain ponies. Their bones ached from the shift, wind in the shaft, the heat of the furnaces. Yet on they marched, their minds ablaze because their cause was right. Through darkness, from Ebuvale, Blackwood, Pontepool, faces frozen and stung by the lash of rain, trudging the roads to Newport through the night. Uh, my name is Roman Blake Talbot, I'm the composer for this um, and I wrote all the music for the event. I think it's a fantastic city and uh, the people here are wonderful people, immensely spirited and passionate and proud people and um, it's been an absolute privilege to be able to work on something like this uh, and to work with the community. I think it's been a fantastic occasion, we've had lots of people down here this evening watching it and um, I thought some of the elements looked absolutely beautiful. It was lovely to uh, see the concept of the bird running through all of it because the bird is a sign of freedom and freedom is what we enjoy. Some people might think that we don't have quite as much freedom as, as, uh, as we'd like, but I certainly think we're in a better place than we were in 1839. Choke, Roger Stone, betrayed by the light. Frost's men from the west, Williams's from the east, Jones's men, 
never arrived. The rest struck on to stand united, of one heart in the square before the west gate. Had they stood silent then, had they not surged forward, had they not been shaken by rage against injustice, had they muzzled the soldiers' muskets with a multitude of silence, had reason spoken, those steely thousands might have won the day. But they stormed the doors to set their comrades free, and shots were fired, and freedom's dream was broken. A score dead, fifty wounded. Their leaders tried, condemned, transported. The movement, in disarray, lost fifty years. Then came, at last, that shift of power. One spoonful of thin gruel at a time. From strong to weak, from rich to poor, from men to women. Like a grudged gift.